graphing a sinusoidal function in the computer. The computer can only get you so far with these types of problems. Let's take a look. Here's a problem from my math lab. We're asked to determine the amplitude and period and then sketch a graph. What I would very much suggest is that you do the whole thing on paper first for the sake of learning and then come back to the computer. Let's see, our basic starting shape here will be the reflected cosine shape. That's the ghost. My amplitude will be 3. My period I'll have to work out. The formula is 2 pi divided by the b number. Dividing by 4 thirds is the same as multiplying by 3 fourths. I've got some canceling here and I end up with 3 pi over 2. How about the x values of my five key points? I always start at 0. I always end at the period half of 3 pi over 2 would be 3 pi over 4. So I know that goes here. Half of 3 pi over 4 would be 3 pi over 8. So I know I'm counting by 3 pi over 8. 3 pi over 8, 6 pi over 8, 9 pi over 8. And then 12 pi over 8, which reduces to 3 pi over 2. We have all the information we need now to draw a quick graph. I'll mark on my scale, and then I'll put dots at the five key points. Reflected cosine, the ghost, goes low, middle, high, middle, and low. Draw your nice cosine shape. This is what you need to be learning while you're working these problems. Now let's go back to the computer. I'm going to fill in the amplitude. It was 3. And I'm going to fill in the period. It was 3 pi over 2. That's all fine. Then it wants me to draw a graph. So I'll come over here to the graph and notice that there is a tool for the sine shape and a tool for the cosine shape. So far so good. So I'll pick the cosine shape. Here's where the limitations show up though. All I can do is click somewhere on the grid and the regular cosine graph shows up. Then I'm simply asked to fill in the information in this box so that the computer can draw the graph. So I've changed the amplitude to 3. Notice the shape has changed. And I've changed the period to 3 pi over 2. And again, the shape is adjusting. Ignore the shifting for now. Did we have any reflection? Yes, this was a reflected cosine graph, so it needs to flip over the x-axis. Is this really the same thing we drew before? It is. Focus on one period. Here's the ghost. It is reflected cosine. You can tell the amplitude is 3. The period ends right here, halfway between pi and 2 pi, which is 3 pi over 2. This particular graph does not do a good job of showing the five key points, but it is an accurate graph. I'll save it and check my answer. And we've got it. You can see, though, this is pretty limited. You've got to be practicing these things by hand in order to learn the material. Thanks for watching.